The Massachusetts Building Trades Union Convention kicked off in Springfield today. 22 News reporter Cy Becker saw labor leaders meeting with some of the most important public figures in Massachusetts. Some of the 55,000 building trades workers represented at the convention at MGM Springfield actually had a hand in the construction of this $600 million facility some five years ago. Over the next two days, labor leaders meet with the governor and legislators discussing the construction future here in Massachusetts. But as Massachusetts Building Trades President Frank Callahan told 22 News, a good life for his tradesmen and women is his uppermost concern. We train people, we negotiate good health insurance programs, good wages, good retirement programs to make sure that you're not just going to work every day, you're going to work with the skills you need to earn a good living for your family. You'll find business people at the convention, individuals who find it advantageous to their companies to have strong ties with labor here in Massachusetts. Chris Angelini came from the town of Reading on behalf of the company he founded, American Benchcraft. Yeah, it's a bigger voice for, for a lot of people, you know, a bunch of the smaller guys just to be able to, you know, to get more work and uh, good jobs and, you know, better treatment for everybody. And by the time the Building Trades Convention sets its priorities for the last of 2023, there will be meetings with Mayor Dominic Sarno and key members of the Springfield legislative delegation to point out just a few. Working for you in Springfield, Cy Becker, 22 News.